As biomed, one of our main goals is to save the hospital money. I'm going to tell you one way that we as biomeds can save massive amounts of money and downtime. Coming up next, right here on Better Biomed. Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, I'm going to tell you guys how you, as biomeds, can save a hospital lots of money. And I'm being accompanied by creature one and creature number two, because when I get home from work, I have no private time whatsoever. <laughs> All right, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so we're going to talk about cutting costs and how can you do it. There's many ways that we can save money. One of the ways that biomeds generally save money for the hospital, right? Not not like you know, not like you know how it is to save money. No, 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 no. We don't spit in each other's faces. No, no. No, no. Here, see, you're right there. So one of the ways that biomeds save money is we get training on devices, right? It's a general common knowledge thing. You get training, and then you try to get rid of contracts, manpower. Yeah. Permitting. That's a very important part. If you're going to take on more work, you have to add more manpower. Okay? That's something that hospitals often don't consider. Uh, yes. yes. So, yes. one of the ways that I have been trying to implement for years, and I think I finally found a solution, is used medical equipment. It's, you will save so much money just from the used medical equipment market. Either you can buy it for parts, or you can buy the unit as a replacement. So why is it that you would buy a unit for parts? Well, let's just say I buy a unit and I need to change out the front bezel. And let's say I also need to use a part for the main motherboard. Are you going to sit down? Okay, yeah, just sit down. So what I try to do, if I'm going to use a unit for parts, it's because it's got parts that I'm definitely going to use and I'm going to use them frequently. So I'm going to use, well, let's, let's, let's take it back a little bit. I have tried to use used medical equipment for years and often with many, many hospitals, it's extremely difficult because either they say, we don't buy medical equipment, that's through purchasing. You know, they won't buy them as parts. I found a couple places that do, a medical university that I used to work for, they were awesome about it. They would buy me something, like one example was a Steris 3080 table. I used the giant aluminum castings for the wings and I saved them thousands of dollars by doing that. I bought the table for $3,000 total. I sh by the time I was done, I used the metal shrouds, I used some of the tops, I used two of the aluminum castings. Man, we got our money's worth out of that. I think I even used the control board. We got our money out of that. Multiple, multiple dollars. If you got the space to save the equipment for future repairs and you know you're going to use the parts, do it. But let's talk a little bit more about parts. Because let's say there's a part that you can still buy from the OEM. One of the perfect example is the uh, rapid infusers. I did a video not so long ago about the Belmont rapid infusers. Well, the touch panel on that is garbage as that touch panel is, monochrome display. Well, that touch panel costs like $1,200. $1,200 for that stupid touch panel. But guess what? I found Belmonts for like two and $300 right off of eBay. So I took a couple of the listings over to, uh, over to my purchasing department. I said, here, I'd like to buy these for parts. They bought both of them. So I, I think I had $500 invested into the whole thing. And the two units that I received off of eBay were in much better quality than the ones that I had in my inventory. So I immediately rolled them out in the inventory and I retired the unit that had the touch touchscreen. And if you think about it, it was a $1,200 repair. All right. And that's not including manpower. All right. That's $1,200. So what we did is we ended up utilizing the touchscreen and I ended up using the door 
and several other things. And yep, the, that's the rest of the family back there in the door. You can see it. It's my wife, Jenny, and my two kids. So, all right, guys, you gonna go eat? Yeah? Okay. All right. I guess. Okay. Okay. Food's more important than daddy. I see how you are. All right. So we end up using multiple parts off this unit. We got two units up and going for the cost of $500. Whereas normally we'd only get for $1,200, we would get one unit up and going. So that's the point I was trying to make before I was so rudely interrupted. So guys, you can buy them for parts or you can buy them for replacements. But here's the part that I want to get across to you guys. I have tried for years in so many hospitals to buy units that I can use for parts or replacement because often the used device off eBay or off DotMed is cheaper than the flat rate repair that OEMs are offering. You got to consider it. So I was reaching out to a local company who is like ISO certified and, and they're a very prime vendor for many large companies, including Croffle. So I was lamenting to some representatives to a local company and I was telling them about this Spy Elite. So I've got a Spy Elite and that's a navigation system. And someday I'm gonna go over navigation systems with you guys when I have enough information about all the various types of uh, nav systems that are currently out there. It's such a broad topic. There's so many different technologies and I've been studying up on it for years and I still barely have a grasp of what's really going on. That's a future video. But anyway, I've got a Spy Elite. It's got a giant camera on it and it's got this arm that extends over the field and what it does is you can see what's going on inside the human body by overlaying an image on top of what the camera's seeing. The Spy Elite, it cracked its arm because somebody didn't dock the unit. User abuse. They were moving it down the hallway, it smashed into a smoke partition, cracked the arm, and the camera fell off. And the whole unit is probably thirty, forty thousand dollars something like that. And we were leasing this item. And because they cracked the arm, the unit cannot be returned because they want total replacement value on the unit because they can no longer get parts for it. It leads to some very complex things. Many man hours have been wasted because this one person just could not dock it and just moved it down the hallway. It's, it's spent a lot of my time because the unit is contracted. I can't get parts for it officially, but I'll tell you what I did do. I found a replacement unit off of eBay for $2,500. A whole unit, the whole entire tower, the computer, the camera, the arm, the chassis, everything. $2,500. I took it to my leadership and I said, hey guys, let's make this happen. And uh, I'll tell you what, uh, some of the Croffle guys I work with, the, the, the managers, I, uh, especially the ones that are running this account, uh, we're immediately on it. Like, yes, let's absolutely do this. This completely financially makes sense. It's going to decrease our downtime. We can get this thing repaired and we can get it out. Absolutely, let's do it. And then I ran into some snags a little bit later. It doesn't matter why I ran into snags, the fact that they exist. And so then the path of least resistance, you guys will probably hear me talk about that a lot, is to not do anything, right? Well, um, I was talking to this company um, because in order to work with companies like Crothel, you have to be a certified company, which I understand why they do that because there are fraudulent companies out there. There's companies that don't live up to expectations. There's a lot of reasons why you want to use an ISO certified company. But uh, this particular company that I reached out to, their name is Phobi, F-O-B-I, okay? And I sat down with these people from Phobie, excellent people, and we were going over uh, this scenario of me having to replace a twenty to thirty thousand dollar item because of an arm that I could have bought off eBay for twenty five hundred dollars. And they looked at me and they said, "Why didn't you contact us?" It's true. Why didn't I? I, I just I always considered Phobie 
to be the type of company that does depot level repair. In other words, you ship them something, they fix it in house, and then they ship it back. I was completely wrong. That's how they used to be. But the new phobie, these guys, well, if you can find an item online as a used medical device, you contact them, you email them with the listing, and they will purchase it. And they will invoice your hospital for that item. So uh, this particular item, I did, as of this day, I haven't bought it yet. But what I did just do is I've got some Stortz HD Connects. They're video recorders. They're infamous for having random little errors. But every time it has an error, you have to ship it back to Carl Stortz, and then you have to get it repaired. But let me tell you something right now. If you have a video recorder, or let's say something like a... Uh, Stortz video scaler or something like that go on eBay go on eBay I can find right now Stortz HD connects for two to three hundred dollars so all I did is I, I reached out to phobia and I said hey guys I would like some parts kits from eBay and here's what they are it's I gave them a listing uh, for some HD connects and they said how many would you like I said three so they sent me a quote with you know a slight markup and uh, that's how it is they act as the middleman the account manager the liaison between uh, parties like dot med and eBay which makes my life way easier I work for a major hospital all right they're not too concerned with money but remember we're here to decrease downtime and decrease costs and I can do both of that because for the cost of shipping one HD connect out to Carl Stortz and getting some flat rate repair, I can buy three, three of these HD Connects. And one of them, I can roll out immediately. I'm going to put it on that video tower. It's out the door. It's done. It's ready. All I have to do is program in the, my hospital name into the unit. And I've got two other units that are going to sit on a shelf for deployment for the next problem, which will be in probably a month. I'm not too big on, on keeping equipment around. But when you're talking, I'm going to save thousands of dollars just from that one item. Or how about this? I got video towers out there that don't even have recorders on them. I can fit those units with recorders. Or what about those Sony video printers? You know, video printers that are on the all laparoscopic towers? Those things, I think Carl Stortz wanted to charge $2,200 for a brand new Sony printer. But you can find them all day long, those UPDR80MD printers the ones I did a video on I got one right over here you can find those all day long for two or three hundred dollars that's almost the cost of the ribbon consumable you can find them all day long on eBay two three hundred dollars somebody uh, I was on dot med if you guys don't know or not dot med 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 wrench. I was on med wrench answering some people's questions just last night and somebody was asking questions about um, a striker video recorder and how we can get rid of this error or that error or whatever and the whole time I'm thinking did you check eBay I looked on eBay there's units selling for two hundred dollars at that point it's not even worth fixing you might want to save a unit for parts say a display or something like that but other than that at two hundred dollars it becomes a consumable you just take the old unit you retire it you get rid of it you put the new one from eBay put it in service so guys, I don't mean to make this video any longer than it is. Guys, reach out. Reach out and use. Use medical equipment. Either use it for parts if you have multiple units that you can fix or do replacements. Because these companies are getting absolutely ridiculous with some of their flat rate repairs and flat rate repairs are becoming standard. But we have some huge advantages when it comes to used medical equipment. And there's one thing I didn't bring up to you guys. We as biomeds can save lots of extra money with trade-ins. With trade-ins. Do you know how many thousands of dollars are not being taken advantage of by hospitals through trade-in programs? So let's say a hospital wants to roll out some new video towers. And Carl Stortz, who's an excellent company, it's an excellent company. I know I rag on them because their prices can be just crazy. But they're an excellent company. Carl Stortz had video towers that they were going to change out and they were going to give for every camera that that you want to buy 
if you could come up with an old camera, especially the old, old ones, like the standard definition cameras, they were going to give you like $2,500 credit for every one that, you know, one for one trade that you were going to buy. Well, I only had three or four Carl Stortz cameras in my inventory, but we were going to buy like 10. So I went on and I bought through uh, used medical equipment. I found a box of them online uh, for eBay. And it was like $800 for a box of them. We bought that box and with the first camera, the very first one that came out of that box, we were able to pay for the whole lot. And for the rest of the cameras that were in the box, we used those, because all you need is a camera and a serial number, we used those for trade-ins for the rest of the 10 that they were buying. And we saved $10,000 plus right there. You get $2,500 for every camera head that you can come up with. So think about that. If they're going to do a purchase program uh, or a blanket purchase and you don't have enough equipment items to meet the quota for all the trade-ins on a one-to-one -one ratio, look on used medical equipment. If you're buying ESUs or Bovies, you can find ESUs for like two, three hundred dollars sometimes four, five hundred dollars But if you get a two or three thousand dollar trade-in credit, you can buy it as the used medical device. Just keep it, put it on a pallet and get it ready to ship out as a trade-in value. You're gonna save lots of money right there, guys. And I've done all this. I wouldn't be preaching to you guys if I hadn't done it because every dollar I spend in the hospital feels like it's a dollar of mine. And why? It's free money. It's free money. It's free money for the hospital. It's free money for your biomed shop. Let's not spend every dollar that we need to. We're crimping down out there. A lot of hospitals out there are crimping down on their money and extravagant spending. Let's just offer up these ideas as ways to save money. All right, guys? Thanks for watching this video. This is the last of my words today, I swear to God. I hope you all have a wonderful afternoon.